All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy, Wingstop Happy. We are back today with another video. In today's video, we'll be showing off my favorite New Balance of the year so far. I know that's pretty crazy to say. We're in the month of June right now. There's been a ton of New Balance releases. Honestly, I haven't picked up too many New Balance releases this year, but this pair I had to have, and it is not a collaboration. It is a general release pair, even though they were a little bit limited. New Balance 990 V4 in the highlight colorway. This is part of the Teddy Santis Season 5 collection, I believe. And man, right when I saw these, when that Season 5 collection previewed, I knew I had to have these. These just speak my language. I absolutely love bright green, and these are absolutely perfect. Anyways, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe. And feel free to follow me on Instagram to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Real quick, let's start with the box. We have a blue New Balance box. Now, honestly, I haven't picked up a Teddy made pair in a while, I feel like, since like those 990 V3s in the wine colorway. Anyways, I believe those came in a cream box, so now they're doing blue. Not sure when they switched it up, but blue box, for size 10. And yeah, pretty standard box. And then just regular New Balance paper, nothing special at all. And you do get an extra pair of laces, as you can see right here. They're calling this an ocean green colorway. Now, I'm going to touch on the color of the shoes when we get to them. But I feel like the laces are really explains what actual color is on the underlays of the shoe. I know in photos, a lot of people were not sure if it was navy blue or green. But you can see the lace color right here. It's ocean green. That's what New Balance is calling it. Which, I guess this looks like ocean anyways. Let's get to the shoes. They are the New Balance 990 V4 in the highlight colorway. Now, as I mentioned, with the underlays of the shoe, with the laces, you do have this ocean green color. I know I was talking to some people on Instagram. We couldn't really tell if it was dark green or dark blue, but I can confirm in hand, it's like perfect dark bluish green, you can imagine. So it looks really good in hand, and that's all that really matters. Other thing about the color I noticed when I got these in hand is that the mesh on the toe cap and back here is actually going to be an off-white color, whereas in the inner of the sock liner, this is a bright white. I honestly had no idea that the outer mesh and the mesh on the sock liner were different colors. I thought that was all on one, looking at the photo. I'll give you guys a close-up shot of the back of the tongue. I think that really shows off the difference in the color mesh. Honestly, it's not really that noticeable. You have to be really looking, but I just thought that was an interesting detail. And also the mesh on the toe box you have to be careful what socks you wear with these because you can see through. I'm not going to say it's a full see-through shoe, but you can see through underneath these mesh underlays right here on the toe box. So I wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. As far as the New Balance logo goes, that was another one. I wasn't sure what the color was when I was looking at photos online. I think I can't confirm looking at it. Honestly, it's really hard to tell. I think the inside of the end is actually black, whereas the outline of the end is actually going to be that deep ocean green color. Hopefully that helps you guys out if you were looking to pick these up and you guys weren't sure which color the underlays of the mesh were or anything like that. Just some details I wanted to point out. Notice in hand that you may have not noticed online. But in terms of overall color, I absolutely love these. These are perfect for springtime. I know we're in summer now, but spring, summer, this is a perfect color combination. These remind me of a few things. Granny Smith Apple, St. Patrick's Day, cutting the grass. I think for the promo, they should have had a dad cutting the grass in these. I think that would be really good. So I, when I saw these, I was reminded about cutting the grass. But in terms of overall quality and craftsmanship, once again, New Balance made line knocks it out of the park. These are absolutely excellent. Beautiful suede on the upper. They did do a different style mesh, I believe. I don't have any of the GR990 V4s anymore, but I believe this style of mesh is a tad different in just the overall design, so I wanted to call that out as well. But regardless, quality, craftsmanship, A+, plus as always, with the New Balance Made line. I've never had too many issues with the Made line, so if you're looking for a high-quality pair of sneakers, definitely won't be disappointed with these. These did retail at $210, which is a tad higher than the standard GR colorways, such as the gray and black 990 V4s. I believe those retail at 185. Santa's made pairs, they do tax them a little bit higher, which I get it, they probably gotta pay him. So they're trying to make up for that by charging a little bit extra on the shoe. So it makes total sense to me, but I definitely feel like these are worth $210. Before we end the video, let's talk about sizing. 
For sizing, for all my New Balance 990s and all my New Balance made in USA pairs, I personally like to go half size down. I feel these run a half size big, so that's what I recommend. I tried these on today, they fit absolutely perfect for me. I did have a little bit of room in the toe box area, so keep that in mind. They do run big in my personal opinion. So if you want a nice snug fit, I definitely would recommend going a half size down. If you don't care about the snug fit and want some room, definitely stay true to size. You should be good. That's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Once again, I absolutely love the colorway of these. I love the New Balance 990 V4, even though I do like the V3s better, but this pair right here, really, really good pair. Probably gonna be my New Balance of the year. Maybe. There's a lot of good pairs that I think are on the horizon. I know Teddy Santis previewed season six yesterday on his Instagram story. And there's some really good pairs in there too as well. But yeah, these are really good nonetheless. I'm definitely going to enjoy wearing these this summer. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. It is your boy, Wingstop Hobby. I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.